Hi, so today I really want to talk about the competing consumer pattern in queuing. It's really the most basic pattern and the pattern that I would typically use for basically um, all of the queuing work that I do. Um, so what you have are any number of producers. Um, so that could be one to a thousand producers of messages going on to a queue. Um, so your typical like, you know, web server um, storing information into the queue uh, through an API or something like that. Now, on the tail end of that, uh, your consumers, um, basically what they're going to be doing is they're going to be pulling off of the queue. So let's just say that you know, every second, um, each consumer will pull one message. The idea why this is competing is as you add consumers, um, these messages will go to the various consumers and uh, only once, right? So if consumer gets message A, um, it will be the only one that gets, gets the message A. If uh, the second consumer gets B and C and so on, those messages are only going to the singular consumers and therefore each consumer is competing for the messages. The reason why this is a good thing is it's really easy to scale, right? So I just kind of drew the one to three consumer nodes. Um, so you can really have as many of these um, as you want. So I'm just doing like, you know, one to eight here. So at eight, you will be queuing or dequeuing at a rate of eight messages um, per one second, which is just that artificial time frame that I made up. So basically every time you add a consumer, um, you will be enabling more throughput off of uh, the queue. Now, this is uh, really good in the cloud. Um, if you have this and are running on something like Azure, um, you could have a consumer per server. And so this is really where we're talking about um, running out um, and doing horizontal scaling. Um, so every time you add a server, uh, you're enabling another consumer and therefore getting more throughput. I hope this was uh, insightful. It's really good just to know the basics of queuing and the patterns that you're using. You're probably already using something like this if you're actually dequeuing. Um, but feel free to look up more patterns and practices. I'm going to continue to present uh, even the simple patterns. Thank you very much. Have a good day.